it's Dr. Donna, and today I'm actually here to talk to you a little bit about epilepsy and seizures. Um, they are probably one of the scariest things that you have either gone through yourself or you have a friend whose child or your own child has been experiencing. Um, I could only imagine what that's like just watching your child going through an episode and you not really knowing what to do for them. I'm here today to talk to you about why chiropractic is such a phenomenal and natural approach to seizures and why it supports the body to naturally heal and why in a lot of cases these seizures tend to go away. So let's start a little bit by talking about um, what seizure and epilepsy is. So I'm going to actually read to you what that is. So epilepsy.com says that epilepsy is a neurological condition which affects the nervous system and a symptom of something going wrong in the brain. Seizures seen in epilepsy are caused by disturbances in electrical activity of the brain. The seizures in epilepsy might be related to brain injury or a family tendency, but most of the time the cause is unknown. So what few things did you hear pop up there? Well, I'm sure you heard nervous system. So this is a neurological issue. Basically, the nerves in the brain are not communicating well to the body. There's a glitch somewhere, right? Well, what do we do as chiropractors? As chiropractors, we address any interference or any issues, which we call subluxations, to your nervous system. So as a chiropractor, our job and our goal is to go in, assess your nervous system, see where there might be a misalignment that's now put a interference or a glitch in that system from functioning properly. In this case, a lot of times with our seizure um, cases, what we'll see is there's going to be an issue neurologically in the top of the spine, or what we refer to as a cervical spine. So that little neck region that we see, right? Well, why? Why is it that we'll commonly find interference or subluxation there? Well, a big part of it is because of where the brainstem sits and all the little signals and all the delicate, intricate systems of the spine and the brain and neurology are very, very heavy at the top of that spine. So based on what levels of physical, chemical, mental, emotional stresses your body has gone through, well, then that will determine what level of stress subluxation lies on that spine. As you'll see right here, we have an example of a scan. So in this scan, you'll see what the normal is supposed to look like. You'll see a nice balance. You'll see these bars are symmetrical. And on the opposite end, you see what a subluxated spine looks like, what that nervous system looks like when there is a lot of interference. As you see, we've got some green, blue, red, black. Well, all of these levels of interference basically let us know that that nervous system is not working like it should. So what can we do? And, or if your child is going through this, what can you do? Well, your first step is finding out if chiropractic is something right for you. So on our end, what we would do is we would sit down and of course, assess your child, go through your child's nervous system scan and their assessment with the technology we use in office and see if this is something for you and to see what levels of stress lie on your child's spine and your child's body. Once we determine where there are levels of interference, then that's when we'll start our steps, our procedure, our adjustments to make sure that we reconnect that body and we reconnect that nervous system to start functioning at optimum. Look, if you all of a sudden take a beam out of your house, do you think that's going to influence or affect the structure? Of course, a wall might come down, a window might break, who knows? The same thing applies in our delicate bodies. Any type of interference, any subluxation is like taking that beam out. Well, what if one of your bodies is only missing one beam and somebody else's is missing 10 beams? Can you see how we can have such levels of stress and of course effect on the system? So if you've never, ever, ever tried chiropractic for seizures, I really, really, really encourage you, <clears throat> excuse me, to give that a shot, to have a conversation with us, to have a conversation to say, hey, here's what's going on. Is this something that you can help with? That way you can figure out the most natural and effective approach to making sure that your child gets the opportunity to live life with the most optimum functioning nervous system. If you have any questions, 
please, please feel free to either message us on the bottom of this uh, video, email us personally, or if you know somebody who's got issues with seizures or has a child with issues with seizures, I would absolutely love if you could pass this video along. Let's make sure that these kids get to experience life phenomenally. Thank you.